What's going on? It's Scott here from Scott's Projects, and today I'm going to show you how to fix this error with trying to update Windows. It's the error code 80072EFE. Um, so to fix this, first thing you want to do is to check what kind of system you have. So go to Start, and then this is in Windows 7, obviously. So um, and then you're going to want to right-click on Computer, and then go to Properties. And then so we know that under system type, we have a 64-bit operating system. Your operating system might be 32-bit. So um, look for those downloads instead of the 64-bit operating system downloads. So we're going to close this out. And then we're going to hop on the internet. And the first thing you're going to want to do, type into Google Windows 7 Service Pack 1. And then... Since I'm running 64-bit, I'm going to look for that download. So install Windows 7 Service Pack 1. We're going to have to navigate this website to find what we were looking for. So they talk to check if they talk about what we just talked about to check if you're running a 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. So then we're going to look for the download page. So here's the download page down here. And then I'm pretty sure this one's probably for the 32-bit. So we're 64, so we want this one right here. And then you just click download right here. And then I did the .exe download, so just hit that download. And then let that download. And then install this first. So once this is done, downloading just double click on the .exe install windows 7 service pack 1 and then we'll be able to download and install the next part all right with that file downloaded you're going to want to go look for it in your downloads so the first downloads right here for the 64-bit operating system so you're just going to double click on it and then run the installer and once that's finished, we can go to part two and download our second download. All right, so to install the next part, we're going to type in Windows 7 Updater. And we're running a 64-bit operating system, so we're going to click on that one. And look for KB3102810 for your operating system. So we want that, and we're going to... Click download right here in your selected language. So I'm in English, so hit download. And then once this is finished downloading, you're gonna want to just go to the installer. All right, so now that we have the second file downloaded, you're just gonna double click on the installer. So once I installed these two uh, items, like these two different downloads, um, I was able to then install my update. So I went from the error code to this window in Windows Update and then it found the 165 important updates that I needed and so I spent the day updating Windows 7 after a fresh install Windows 7 after a factory reset and now I have all the updates that are currently available for the Windows 7 operating system because it's no longer um, supported by Microsoft so this is like all we have. So, um, if this helped, uh, please get like slap that like button, comment if it helped you, and if you ran into any issues, I'll try to help as best I can. And uh, yeah, please subscribe if you want. Um, helps me out to make further tutorials in the future. And it's my birthday today, <laughs> which is pretty cool. <laughs>